Today we will be talking about Brazil. What's that? What do you mean not Brazil? They are expecting a video about Brazil. That's the entire channel. Dude, what if they don't like it? Whereabouts is gonna be? I mean, I guess it is, it is something fun. Well guys, we're not gonna be talking about Brazil today. We're going to be talking about the Netherlands. Today we will be talking about something similar to Brazil. Come on, it's not that different. King's Day, which I will call the Dutch Carnival. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but that's how I felt it. And I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Hi, my name is Anna, and here on this channel we talk about everything Brazil and maybe some other countries, food, culture, architecture, and much more. Come with me as we discover the world together. The King's Day is celebrated here in Netherlands every year across the entire country. It has its origins in the late 1900s, and it started as Princess Day to celebrate the fifth birthday of Princess Wilhelmina. And then after that, the tradition was taken until we got to the current king. And it's more often celebrated around their birthdays. So the current king's birthday is on the 27th of April, which is when we celebrate King's Day here. The only exception is if the 27th is a Sunday, then it's done on the Saturday before, on the 26th. This is a full day to celebrate the king's birthday and to be with your friends, to drink and to just have a very good time. That's the day that you are allowed to drink on the streets because typically that's not something you can do. So you can buy beer and any drinks of your liking and just drink with your friends or go for a boat ride, which is also very popular. But more of that on a second. One of the main things that people do here in King's Day is what they call the free market. So that's when people are allowed to sell everything they want on the streets. So you will see people selling drinks as you would see in Brazil like Carnival or any other event uh, with the street vendors. But that's also when a lot of people just to sell all of the stuff they don't want anymore like used clothes souvenirs or just anything they don't want so if you want the flea market aspect of the king's day i suggest you start early just so you can get the best pieces and just really find something that you would like to take home now if you're in that for the party then pretty much all cities i'm here in amsterdam so the entire city was just full of people celebrating. They have some stages spread throughout. We didn't really go very close to any of them because there was a lot of people in there, but we walked around the entire city and there was just like this festive vibe all over. Everybody or most people were wearing something orange, either a hat or sunglasses or just a plain t-shirt or anything else. Some people were even like full bodied orange dressed. The reason for the orange, uh, of course you probably know it's the Netherlands color, but that's because the surname of the royal family here in Netherlands is Van Orange. I'm so sorry, I'm probably butchering the Dutch, <laughs> but of course that means of orange, from orange. Anyone that is Dutch, if you want to correct me down below, feel free to do so. So that is the color of the royal family and that's why everybody is wearing that, not only on this festive day, but in any patriotic uh, display such as in the World Cup, for example. One of the main things you can do during the King's Day is to go on a boat tour. Whether you rent a boat for yourself and your party or you join one of the already existing boat tours, the choice is yours. You're going to be going on a ride around the canals, enjoying the parties from a different angle and some of them will have some music playing. Just be careful not to drink too much or maybe not even drink that much, but lose your balance and fall on the canal. In fact, be mindful of how many people you have on the boat. One of my followers sent me that video here of a boat that was overcrowded and it just full on sank on the canal and everybody just like went for a dip, I guess. Hopefully nobody got hurt. Thank you, Cynthia. If you're not checking on a boat tour or if you couldn't find one because they were all crowded or overpriced, you can just literally walk around town and enjoy some of the music either near a bar or some of the student houses that will just be playing music outside or just somewhere out in the streets. Honestly, there will be nice music playing all over. You can just find your tune and just stay there or jump around. One of the other things you can do is take part in one of the many street games that are available. I saw this one here of people trying to climb up a very unbalanced ladder. It looked pretty difficult. I didn't try, but as you can see here, I think the guy wasn't very lucky with that. You also find loads of food street vendors as well as some of the snack bars and just restaurants open during the day. However, not all of the shops will be working on that day because obviously I guess they will be enjoying King's Day as well. Speaking of food, one of the things that are very traditional to eat during King's Day is something called Tom Puss. 
Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the word, but this is a dessert that is made of a couple of layers of puffy pastry with a custard cream, crème patisserie, inside. You can find Tompus anytime you come here, but the orange one is only available around the time of King's Day. The celebrations actually start on the evening before, and it's called the King's Night, so you can start your celebration as early as the day before and drink your way until early morning if you want to. If you are coming to celebrate King's Day, I suggest you either stay in a centrally located place or you really check which means of transportation will be working because some of the trams and some of the transportations that go into the town center won't be working simply because there are just too many people on the roads and they won't be able to go through so make sure to check your route or your, the locations you want to attend beforehand of course the celebration is free However, if you want to drink something, you can take your own or you can buy something. I was able to pay for my drinks with card, but you might want to take some cash, especially if you want to buy something from people that are just selling their items on the free market all over the city. King's Day has such a carnival vibe. Honestly, it felt like I was in an all orange carnival here. It just really felt like being in Brazil and enjoying carnival, so it's, it's very similar. One of the main differences I noticed was the type of music, where in Brazil we listen to a lot of Brazilian genres of music. In here it's mostly electronic music that you see all over. And also the type of dressing, so the costumes or defensive dressing, they all have the orange theme to it, whereas in Brazil we just dress up as whatever we want, we find fun and entertaining. This was my first video outside of Brazil. I hope you liked it. I wanted to share something that I found fun and nice to experience. And I have this other video here about carnival, which I hope you like. See you on the next one. Bye.